Alright, anyway, uh, let's see, let's go into his office and let's finish this game. I just wanted to talk to Sean Hampton, because he was like, kind of this pivotal figure, but the moment... Uh, ugh. 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 Yeah, the moment you're given the option to possibly kill him, is the moment he stops being a character. And I think, I don't know, that's always kind of a shame. Like, this is, this is why I hate games where, like, characters can die off. Uh, Banner Saga did this. Walking Dead did this. Where, like, you, sometimes you're given an option to save character A or B. And baseline, they were always less interesting and important. Uh, Mass Effect, actually. Mass Effect 2 almost is, is kind of the perfect example. Of all of the characters in Mass Effect 2... How many of them were important? Like, the ones that got introduced in it. The assassin guy got... He was barely a character. He was there for, what, maybe a DLC mission in the third game? And otherwise was just kind of off-camera. Um, it was a Kaiden and or, La uh, and, and or Ashley from the first game. Like, they were, they were by far the, like, least important characters. Let's not talk about Mass Effect. I, I'm just using it as an example uh, for my point. Um, let's see, the uh, best Mass Effect was Mass Effect 3. I actually really didn't like Mass Effect 3. I thought Mass Effect 1 was the best of the bunch. It mechanically was the worst, but it felt the most pure. Uh, and the ending was definitely the most satisfying. Mass Effect 3 is ending place like... Has been ransacked. I can't. I. I will admit, I They've cannot. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. I can't really get past the uh, Mass Effect Three ending. But no. So like, Mass Effect Two had a really cool thing where effectively every character you knew and loved could die at the end of Mass Effect Two. But it also meant they died for Mass Effect 3, regardless of whether or not they succeeded, because they couldn't write to account for all of those variables. So they didn't, they just kind of shoved them off as second-class citizens, and it's like, oh, that sucks. Because, yeah, I... Uh, I hate it when a character can die, not because, um... Not because they, they die or not, but because they can die, there's that... Dis Parody. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen. To learn. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer to this ancient mystical threat. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world. For she is hunger and anger. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? 
And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you, really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star. For they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease Vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. 
Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. What's over this direction? Probably nothing, but I wanted to see. Oh, this is that door! We saw this earlier. It was locked and I couldn't get through. Anyway. Hey, thanks for the resub! Clef Spear. Okay, so we're gonna fight Harriet Jones. Who wants to bet what she looks like? Oh, hey, bo oh no. Oh, she's not going to be a cool looking boss. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? They took my daughter from me! Okay, so she's going to be kind of a bark monster. This is only phase one. Oh, she's not very fast, is she? I mean, her swings are. But she herself is not very fast. So, in fact, this actually remains probably one of the easiest fights in the game. Probably should have bit her, maybe. Maybe not. I did hit her. We might die here. Uh. Eat, for this is my body. I don't know if I can bite those. Well, I've got a couple of things that I can use, but I'm not going to be able to hurt her. Normally, I can't stun her, so I'm not really sure if I can stake or... I'm not really sure if I can stake or bleed. Feed your mother, child! Okay, we need some... We need more blood here. Luckily, she's pretty... She doesn't move much. 
which certainly helps. Don't know if she's attacking me or exactly what. Oh, she's pulling out weapons. Okay, so she's gonna keep sending them against me. Oh, okay. That's fine. Get no bites. No easy sources of blood here, but that's okay. As long as she stays largely static, I can just kind of wail on her. Is she supposed to be a lot harder than this? Is this one of those situations where she's... Okay, I'm going to wait for her to move. Blood, feed me. Give me their lives. I bet she's a lot harder if you've killed people. Maybe. Nope, she went invulnerable. Damn it. Ow. Do you think your champion defeated me, my child? No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Huh. Is so that it? it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? <laughs> my coat's messed up this again. This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. <laughs> Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed. Newborn vampire stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will 
crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Oh, the castle from the painting. Uh... Do doctor, that, that sunlight. Well... This is it. Lady Ashbury's Domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Holy shit, is this actually a healthy carrier? It's a playable epilogue. That's a new one. I was... A f I was afraid this is going to be something completely different. Like, I thought we were just going to hit credits, but no. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep, now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the Icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. This is not over. 
I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new Primate. But I'm certain the current Primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Hmm. Well, Swansea is going to make a mistake. What will become of the Vampire Hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. William Marshall's here. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. 
You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. It's locked, all right. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. So the music is Lady Ashbury's and has been this entire time. I like it. I think this is my favorite area in the game so far. It's very, be it's very beautiful. I'm still not entirely clear why I can't just zip through gates or open windows or many things. What? Oh, hi. Mary Englewood, born Whitaker, 1578. Robin Englewood. Okay. Well, Lady Ashbury, I'd probably pay to get this place fixed up. It's locked. The it's lady interesting. Of the manor isn't expecting visitors. It's interesting how much of level there is to get through, though. Maybe it's Not just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Why is there a moon and a sword that I can see through the walls? What? Portrait of Dr. Jonathan Reed by Lady Ashbury, 1918. Elizabeth, my love. You allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. Ashbury Castle, 21st of September, 1795. Dear Mr. McAllister, as the new legal, legal owner of the Ashbury estate, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repairs of the walls and the crypt of the castle. Among the few architects I intend to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I'd be glad to meet you. At your convenience, my only request would be to speak to you directly and not your assistants. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. You may come to the castle, or I can meet you at your office, office as you prefer. If you, come to their ca if you come to the castle, I could show you what kinds of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, which may need considerable work and reconstruction. Very sincerely, Lady Ashbury. Like most castles, this one has a crypt. And it holds something special inside. Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood by Johannes Vermeer. This castle is falling apart. Still not open yet. Oh, hello. Old letter. Oops. Sorry, everybody. Burp. Okay. London, 4th of August, 1865. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. The garden is beautiful under the summer sky, although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. We'll discuss the wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundation of an orphanage for young ladies, inspired by the French Maison Royale de St. Louis, sadly closed when the French people chose, my god, I can't even write these words down, to cut their king's head off. Such a place, destined to provide a good education to gifted but poor orphan girls, will surely excite my friends here in the city. 
You can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success. Yours ever sincerely, Countess Alexandra Somerset. Oh, there's a door here that I missed. But then again, it was a good thing I missed stuff. Fragrance, Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. Recent contract. Avernus, 18th of April, 1907. Dear Lady Ashbury, I write to confirm my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin work on the crypt and its access. The plans have been approved, and I'll personally be on site to supervise the installation of the locks and security measures you have requested. I can assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue and enhance the work started by my great-grandfather when employed by your ancestor in 1795. Angus McAllister. What if she's William Marshall? She's William Marshall. Portrait of Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood, Versailles, 1788. Dunbar Santorium. William is a guy. Not necessarily. Scotland, 27th of July, 1909. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your previous letters and ardent discussions about vampire folklore. Now obvious we share opinion concerning scientific and modern approach toward the need for blood and the cure of addiction. I must confess I admired your charitable attitude when I met you at Dunbar Sanatorium, and I'm still impressed by your kindness when talking with humble and poor patients. I was delighted to read about the position of, it, of administrator at the Pembroke Hospital you financed during its fi since its founding. After a few days of deliberation, I'm happy to accept your offer. It will be, for me, an occasion to get back to the busy streets of London after years of public service in the beautiful but far quieter Scotland. I will be glad to meet you there, and I and discuss with you further about immortality, its advantages and disadvantages, and how to enhance your condition. I look forward to our next meeting. Yours sincerely, Dr. Edgar Swansea. Portrait of Lady Ashbury by Vincent Van Gogh, 1885. Of course, they had to put in a Van Gogh. This painting looks suspicious. Let me keep looking around. Okay, so there's that there, but I don't think we can get into the crypt yet. Yeah. The door is completely locked up. Probably. Oh, that's the Red Queen. That's the knight fighting the Red Queen. Old contract. Iverness, 11th February, 1807. Dear Mrs. Ashbury, or Miss Ashbury, when we last communicated, you asked for the conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I'm happy to report your request has finally been validated. My drivers have informed. have been informed that for security senses, oh, security reasons, sorry, I saw activate senses. Security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They will also have been informed that under no circumstances should the carriage try to pass a river by boat, but always by road and bridges. For the precious wood and relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. You'll find a detailed quote for the entire operation attached to this letter, 
We're ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Very, very respectfully, Samuel Lewis, independent contractor. Yeah, so this, this door has been unlocked. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. King Arthur versus the Red Queen. Yeah, maybe. It just seems odd she would have a picture of King Arthur specifically. Also, a lot of rats around. What if we're not done fighting yet? What if we have one more boss fight? <laughs> okay, so we're looking for a sword and a moon. Well, sword might be in here. There's many swords, but none of them count. This sword. Okay. What about here? I've been through this mess. One last switch, and... Oh, I see. It's just a weird switch on the wall. So this one. What are these symbols? Nope. I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch, and... Okay, so we have to... We, we can't just trial and error. Voila. There we go. Yeah, I was assuming we'd have to find them somewhere here, but no, there's just some really awkward... Uh, it's just really awkward set up. Marshall... And the Red Queen is in the room with the fireplace. This one? Oh, I see. You're, you're talking about those. But yeah. It is Marshall versus the Red Queen. Yeah, like I thought. So, not King Arthur, but Marshall. Oh, the secret passage is in the fireplace. I thought it was just down into the crypt. Did I just stare at it and do nothing? Oh yeah, there it is. I just assumed we opened the door to the crypt as opposed to this. Replace the gut fixed up, this is decidedly not. 